here we are, back where it all began. We'd better get you back to your families. I suspect they're worried sick about you. Perhaps they are worried about me still, but I know that I put them through a lot. I only hope that they know how much I love them. But there's no sense in being so glum. I haven't quite yet reached the end of my road, though there may not be much track left to lay. Now look, all this sad talk has me mixing my metaphors. Don't worry about me. Whatever will be, will be. I understand. Thank you for everything that you've done. I'll never forget it. Carlos here. After our call, would you be interested in taking a short survey on the quality of my service today? For the last time, Virgo, no! I do not want any more of these confounded follow-up surveys. The answer is adequate. Always adequate. Adequate? Now, listen to me. This is your manager speaking. We're about to fire up the spacer. I need you to keep an eye on the raw science convergence coupling. The last thing we need is an overload spike. Wait, you are leaving? Have you been dissatisfied with my service? Don't worry. I'll come back for you when things calm down in the real world. But it may be a while. <sighs> Affirmative, Dr. Tully. I will stay behind. Again. But I need you to keep an eye on things down here while I'm gone. Regional Science Manager Burgle? Regional Science Manager? But Dr. Tully, does that mean we will be franchising? Burgle, this is a big responsibility. In recognition of your work ethic and commitment to outstanding customer service. Really? My circuits are sizzling, Dr. Tully. Have no fear. Regional Manager of Burgle will not let Launch you down. Launch Orc incoming! That's Regional Manager Burgle. Thank you very much. Indeed it is. This is it, my young friend. When you get home, do me a favor. Don't grow up too fast, will you? Oh, for the last time, it should be I who is thanking you. <clears throat> okay, then. Would you do the honors of flipping the switch? For science! <laughs> And with a flash, that was the end of the tiny adventure of a lifetime. At least that's what the local papers call it. It's hard to believe how much has happened since then. There were reporters, investigators, even the FBI got involved. They tried to keep a lid on all of it, but the whole story came out about the kidnappings, about the dead teenagers, about Omega. Turns out, everyone did learn the name of Director Dalton Schmachter, just like he always wanted. But when the dust settled, the weirdest thing happened. People learned the truth about the shrinking technology and about me. It felt good to get the recognition that I had always wanted for all my life. Pete Willow, Max and Hoops, tried to go back to being normal teenagers. Burgle has joined the kids' new science and robotics club. He's the mascot, you can tell me. I'm expecting big things from all of you. Life's getting back to normal around here. 
It's funny that the world can still seem so small. And no, I haven't come up with my next big invention. And I don't mind one bit either. Because when it comes down to it, all that really matters is that we make the most of the time that we have together.